Good morning. So this is day one of the McDougal diet. Um, yep, here we go. So it was about like 12 in the afternoon. It was kind of a late night last night. I stayed up to like 2.30 or 3 o'clock. Um, but first thing first is a liter of water. Uh, make sure to stay hydrated. So and Then I'm going to move on to breakfast. So I'm uh, going to the store to get some orange juice for a video that I'm going to film. I got a food challenge that I'm going to film today. So I got to go pick up a gallon of orange juice at the store. And that will be my breakfast. Got the juice. One gallon. So I'm on my way back home. And uh, it's about the time to start filming this thing. So I got a lot of stuff to do today. But I'm pretty excited. I will help this guy I've recruited. He's helping me set up for the cooking video. Not the cooking video. Uh, food challenge. Food challenge. So, uh, What's on deck? Thumbs up. If you like people that help you out, set up videos. So obviously, drinking orange juice is not McDougal diet approved. But since today is my food challenge, I gotta make an exception. But usually I would have like rice um, with rice milk and stuff like that in the morning. But today, it's orange juice. So it's about 5.30. Um, one liter of water, and then I'm going to go down and make some corn, just some boiled corn, but I want to talk to you guys about something real quick. So this weekend I did a little to-do list, uh, move bed into room, upload a YouTube video, which is my cooking video, uh, film the food challenge, which I did this morning, or afternoon, uh, pick up lights outside, so the Christmas lights, and then make a running schedule. And then here is my training plan for my cycling. And then this is uh, push-ups and sit-ups. So I want to know if you guys make a to-do list. Um, this weekend it seemed to be helping me out a lot. I mean, I feel like I've got a lot of stuff done. And the day's not over, so I still got to upload a YouTube video and uh, make a running schedule. So probably like a few more hours of that, editing and stuff like that. But uh, do you guys think it's a good idea for me to make a to-do list every weekend and then uh, start banging them out? or banging out stuff, or do you think it's better that I just kind of don't have a plan and uh, just go with the flow? So comment down below and let me know. And uh, let's time to go get some corn. Oh yeah, also I'm not training this week, well the rest of the week. I trained pretty much all the way up until Wednesday, and then Thursday, Thursday of the weekend I, I'm not going to train because Christmas and then from there on, uh, just kind of the way it worked out, so family being in town and stuff like that, so we're not doing that, but uh, I'll be back on the bike and stuff tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to it, and I'll let you guys know how I feel on the McDougal diet versus a Rotel 4 or 80 to 10 style diet, so be on the lookout for that. So today I'm making this early harvest super sweet petite corn. And I think I got a little bit of rice in the rice cooker, so I'll probably put the rice on top of the corn and mix that together. And then I'll probably have a salad, and I got some sauce that I'll show you after the corn's done that I put with my rice and stuff. So, see you in a little bit. Also, don't forget to take your B12. So this is the sauce that I use for my salad. It's calorie-free, no fat. Um, I don't think there's any oil in there in the ingredients at all. I just put two tablespoons of it, which is about 250 milligrams of sodium, which is pretty good. So this is what I use, Italian Walden Farms. So my corn's done. Usually I put this roasted pineapple habanero sauce on there. And then sometimes I put a no salt seasoning on top of it also. So yeah, this has no salt in it. So I'm going to get eating. So I'm at church tonight, and then after church I'm going to go to the store and get some food, probably corn and uh, some greens. So uh, tonight's baptism at our church, so we're going to party on, and I'll see you guys after church. Alright, so I just got done with church, and now I'm at the store. Time to go get some food. 
So I got some tomatoes for my salad, got some greens, got some mushrooms for my salad, I got some peas, some corn, and then I got apple juice, I got this stir fry stuff, um, I guess you can just put it into a non-stick skillet and it'll work just fine, so I'll probably use that on my rice uh, sometime this week. 10 cups of rice for the next couple days. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so it's bedtime. Uh, I gotta brush my teeth. Usually I try to have three meals a day, but because I woke up so late, I only got two, and I didn't want to go to bed on a full stomach, so tomorrow I'll probably have three meals, which will put me at like 3,500 calories or about 3,000 calories. Today I probably had about 2,000 to 2,500, which I'm okay with. That's still pretty good, but um, I definitely like to keep it up more in like the 3,000 range. So, so I'm going to be coming out with these videos every single day for the next 30 days. So if you want to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button down below to keep um, posted. And uh, with that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, I was brushing my teeth and having so much fun. I never let the water run. You guys remember that song? <laughs>